My Joy Ami air fryer just came in. Let's cook with it, unbox it, and see how it does. If you lose the user annual, don't panic because you can download another one from the Amazon listing. And I'm going to look this down below. Many thanks to our friends at Joy Me for providing the sample. The six quart air fryer has a clear window with an interior light, one touch cooking with presets. It's dishwasher safe. The air fryer cooks to 400 degrees and it has 360 degree air circulation. There's an auto shut off, overheat protection, and the air fryer has a medium footprint on the counter. Let me get my husband in. He's going to help me. We're going to get some stuff cooking here. Hi, I'm John. We're going to be looking at this Joyami air fryer. First thing to know about it is it brings air in from the top and exhausts it on a vent in the back. So we need to pay attention to what's around the unit. Put it on a firm surface that doesn't, it's non-flammable. And the manual says it needs 10 centimeters or about four inches in all directions for, for safe clearance. So we're using it here in an RV. Got plenty of room in the front, plenty of room between that and the curtain in the back above it and that side's plenty clear so it's got plenty of clearance it doesn't take up a lot of counter space the unit is about 10 inches deep uh, about 11 inches wide and approximately and about approximately a foot tall one thing to notice when you plug in the unit you gotta make sure this drawer this is fully engaged because if you don't don't have it fully pushed in all the way the power, light, power button won't come on. So watch out for that. Now let's take a look at the controls and the display panel. Let's go ahead and turn on our unit. And you've got your preset selections across the top. Uh, plus and minus that adjust the, the time and the temperature up and down. You've got your power button and your start button. Your handy dandy view light so you can see what's going on inside the, inside the basket. And our controls, the, the light will go off after about a minute. So we hit the menu button right there and that you can select. You've got french fries, bacon, chicken, shrimp, chops like pork chops or steaks, baking, baked goods, vegetables, and a fish setting. These are all recommended times, approximate times. Your actual, uh, what you're actually cooking will kind of determine how much, how long you need to cook it. So let's get our fish sticks and go ahead and load them up. I'm doing the fish sticks because Gail's allergic. Okay. Carefully put some of those in here. and put our drawer in and get the power on power and we'll use our menu button here to go around our dial to fish the box said 400 degrees for 19 to 20 minutes so uh, the default is 360 degrees let's use our plus button to bump that up 400 degrees and the time I believe was right let's see 400 degrees and set for 20 minutes. Sounds good. Now we do have to allow an extra three minutes when the unit's cold for a preheat, which is a really fast preheat. So let's go ahead and add three more minutes to that. 21, two, three. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's go. The curtains themselves, let's see what they're getting up to. They're showing 89 degrees. The unit itself is 170. The door is at one, looks at 165. But of course the handle is 83, so it's warm but not hot. But let's go ahead and take a look inside. Let's turn on our light and see. Well, the little fish sticks are getting kind of brown. Maybe we should pull this out and give it a little shake. Give it a little shake. And those are, those are about done. You put it back in, and it turns back on. We'll see you all shortly. Okay. Well, I put 23 minutes on it. After about 17 minutes or so, they are very done. So we're going to pull these on out. 
always want to use non-metallic utensils and you can put the basket in the dishwasher but don't use like steel wool or anything to scrub it with you want to be be gentle with it but it is it is dishwasher safe and that's that's a really good thing so we're going to take these out of here Now for the taste test. <laughs> they're good, good and crunchy. And crunchy they are because they're overcooked as evidenced by the brown tips and clear overdone fish sticks. That's because air fryers tend to cook food much faster than in a conventional oven. Use about half of the normal cooking time and check for doneness. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more product reviews and travel videos. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye. Pitsy, are you ready to go to the treat store? Let's load up.